foundation, brows, concealer, and powder on. Um, I feel like lately that's been really repetitive in my videos, my makeup tutorials, so I figured I would skip that out today, but we're still going to be able to focus on the eyes, um, bronzer, contour, blush, and lips, and maybe be able to spend some more time doing that instead of fast forwarding through everything so much. I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do, but I know that I want to create like a kind of bronzy eye with a coral lip. I'm having a lot of coral on today, maybe too much coral, but I love bronze and coral together for this spring and summertime. So I really wanted to use this new Milani eyeshadow palette. This is the Bare Necessities Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. And this is actually kind of using quite a few different products. And this is brand new as well. This is the City Color Timeless Beauty Palette, the new one, and Girlfriend. These are so... Wow, you can see my whole little setup shebang. <laughs> These are so gorgeous though. So I'm very excited to dig into this as well. And let's get started. I'm first going to go into this Morphe. This is a 35W palette. And I'm just going to go in with a basic kind of like camel, light camel brown shade like this guy right here. And I'm just going to take that on a large fluffy blending brush and just start putting this right into my crease area just so that we have a nice smooth transition. And then I'm going to go into the Milani palette that I was talking about. And I'm going to take a Morphe. This is the M330. And I'm going to take this matte shade. It kind of reminds me of Tees in the Urban Decay Naked 2 palettes. This beautiful matte brown right here. It's just a little bit more on the warm side. I'm just going to pop this more in my crease. Just starting to build up definition right there. I'm then going to take the deepest brown in here, this guy right here. It's a very, very deep, nice chocolate brown. And I'm going to take a really small, precise blending brush. Also going to pop this in the crease, mainly focusing on the outer portion right here, and slowly bringing it in. I also like just to connect it down, really trying to leave the majority of my lid area blank, like you can see. Taking a really large fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to lightly dust away, kind of buff and blend everything out. So we're going to um, go into that Milani palette again, and I'm going to use my finger just to get the most pigmentation. And I'm going to lightly pat this all over my eyelid. Going back into the Morphe 35W palette, I'm going to take those warm shades just to kind of warm everything up again. I'm going to use these two shades right here for my brow bone highlight. So I've really wanted to use this City Color Spark Sparkle and Shine Loose Glitter. This is a really beautiful kind of like iridescent kind of white one, but it doesn't show up super white. So I'm going to go in with first the City Color Sparkle and Shine Glitter Primer. And I think I'm just going to put this kind of on the center of my lid here. We'll try that first. I'm going to go ahead and tight line using the Rimmel Scandalized Tight Lining or Eyeliner in black. I always like to kind of do some eye makeup, um, take a little break, then I like to do like my mascara or false lashes if I'm doing that that day. And then I like to go back into my eyes just because I feel like everything changes so much once you load up mascara or put on false, false lashes, you know? Alright, I'm going to apply false lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so while the lash glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and go to the lower lash line. And I'm going to go back into the 35W palette by Morphe and taking the same shadows, basically doing the same thing that we did on the upper, on the lower lash line to kind of balance and warm everything up. Taking a really small definer brush going back in the Milani palette with that dark kind of cocoa brown. And I'm going to try and put this really, really close to the lash line. I'm making it a little bit heavier on the outer portion. A small blending brush again, and then kind of just put that mainly on the 
outer V area just to create some more depth and make it a little smoky. Felt like it was just needing a little bit something extra up here. We'll blend everything again. To zoom out again a little bit and then we're going to work on the face. So I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to take um, the deepest kind of warm shade and I'm going to warm up the skin while doing a slight contour at the same time. Get up on the hairline, the temples. Girlfriend almost forgot to put mascara on the lower lashes. I was wondering why something looked a little off. I'm going to go back into the Dior Dior Show mascara and just pop on some mascara. You could totally leave it blank, but I really like the way that uh, mascara on the bottom lashes, again, helps to kind of just open up your eyes. Now for blush, I'm going to go into the City Color Timeless Beauty Palette. Oh, I freaking love this thing. I just got it in recently. Um, I'm going to take a mixture of, I think these two shades are both kind of corally pink shades. I think they're going to be really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to use, this is also the City Color CCF03 brush. These blushes are intensely pigmented though, so I recommend wiping off a little bit on your hand um, and then going in. But how pretty. They're so gorgeous and buttery smooth. And of course, like always, I do have a 10% discount code off of everything from City Claire Cosmetics. It's just Katarina13 if you are interested. And I'm going to take a Kabuki and just blend everything together. For highlighters, I think I'm going to mix a couple of things. I'm first going to go into the Rimmel. This is kind of like their contour golden bronze contour kit, I guess you could say. I'm going to pop this right on my cheekbones, um, at the tip of my nose, and also down the center of my nose. And of course, hitting that cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go back into the City Color Timeless Beauty Palette with these two shades, and I'm going to place those over top. Because they are just gorge. And then for lips, I'm going to line them with the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. This is just such a, like, staple lip liner for me. And then I could not decide, I really want to use one of the Clan Color Madly Matte Lip Glosses that I was showing in my last video. Um, I think I might go with the shade 1601. I think we're going to apply this one first. Oh, that's intense though. And maybe going to add a little bit of 1600 on top just to give a little dimension. So yeah, I guess this is the completed look. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. I know this is actually a lot, a lot of coral. I've got like the shirt. I do have a little white shirt. You can't really see it, but it does add a little bit of a contrast. Um, I really like the way this came out. This was really fun using some new products, and I just love this. I feel like it's so fresh for spring, but still a little something extra because of the glitter we have going on and some wispy lashes. I think it just came out really nice. Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be an exciting lip swatch video. We're going to be talking all about the Clean Color or Clean Color Madly Matte Lipsticks. Of course, I'm going to take you through all the lip swatches and arm swatches first just because I feel like that's kind of the most